What's up guys, my name is Ace, and we finally have confirmation for Season 4 of Modern Warfare, which has been postponed for quite some time now, and it's been a lot of speculation as to when this is actually going to be coming out. And there was no real lead up to this one, it's actually coming tonight, or early in the morning, depending on where you are in the world. But it does release tonight, June 10th, at 11pm Pacific Time. Now, the reason I didn't make this video immediately after finding out about this release date is I was waiting for one of those roadmaps or blueprints of what we can expect to see throughout the season. We've gotten those for every one of the seasons so far, generally a few days in advance of the actual season. However, at least at the time of recording this video, I held off until the normal time that they would release information like that. There is still no roadmap. Having said this though, we are aware of several of the things that we can expect to see throughout this season. And I wanted to do a recap of that. First up, we have at least two new weapons that are coming with the Battle Pass. And these are all but confirmed to be the Galil Ace, as well as a version of the Chris Vector. It's a little bit different based on the image that we can see here for the little promo we got for Season 4. But those are the two new weapons that we can expect to see, most likely within the Battle Pass. Then on top of that, our featured operator is Captain Price. And also it looks like Kyle Garrick, or Gaz, from the campaign is also going to be coming Although we don't know if he's coming right at the beginning of the season or if he's going to be one of those mid-season characters that we get. Next up, if you look very closely within the Season 4 logo here, you can actually see that is Scrapyard from Modern Warfare 2, which has been in the game within the Boneyard Ground War map as well as the Warzone map. However, it would be really strange for them to include that within the logo like that and try and hide it in there if they weren't actually bringing this as a multiplayer map. And I think it would be absolutely crazy of them to not bring this as a multiplayer map since it's all there and skinned and textured and ready to go. So I strongly feel that is going to be at least one of our new multiplayer maps as well for season four. And I'm really looking forward to that. I hope it plays well for Modern Warfare. I think it will. I think we need more maps that are around that size. It seems like maps like Shoot House, for instance, are extremely popular. And Scrapyard is roughly the same sort of size and would likely have roughly the same sort of a pace. So that I think is pretty exciting. And I bet we'd also see a 24-7 playlist with this the moment this season drops, assuming Scrapyard is coming at the beginning of the season. Then on top of that, when it comes to Warzone, it looks like we will be seeing some kind of a map change. We don't know exactly what this map change is going to be. We don't know how drastic it's going to be. And nothing is really confirmed at this point, but there has been a lot of stuff leading up to this, like that Bunker 11 Easter egg, for instance, where you can discover there is a nuke there. And then also the little prequel they did to Season 4. It really seems like something big is going on in Warzone, and we will likely see some kind of a big map change. Now, a lot of the speculation is the dam is either going to open up or it's going to be blown up, and then it's going to flood various areas of the map. Or who knows, they might just nuke various areas of the map and completely change up how they're played. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I'm kind of secretly hoping downtown gets nuked, but that's just me at least. And one other thing that is heavily speculated at this moment, but not confirmed at the time of recording this video, is I think we might be seeing a new Ground War map coming with Season 4. If you guys remember, with the launch of Season 3, we didn't see a new Ground War map, whereas the previous two seasons did have a new Ground War map. And I know it's a pretty popular mode. It's pretty much the only mode that I play when I'm not playing Warzone. And therefore, I think it'd be kind of crazy of them to not release a Ground War map for this season after taking a season off. A lot of the speculation is the train station area. That is going to be the new Ground War map. But at this point, that is absolutely not confirmed. I'm just hoping that's going to be the case. But with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about all this news, about the fact that Season 4 is just dropping basically out of the blue with not much lead up to it? And what are you most excited for when it comes to this new season? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.